In this lesson, we learn how to find stationary points. Stationary points are specific points on a graph. Stationary points are found where the gradient is zero. We can see that the gradient is zero where the graph is completely horizontal at the following locations. Where the graph looks like this, we have a minimum point. On our graph, we have two minimum points, here and here. Minimum points are just one type of stationary point. Where the graph looks like this, we have a maximum point. There are two maximum points on our graph. The final type of stationary point is a stationary inflection. We have one stationary inflection point here and another here. Here are all the stationary points on the graph. To find a stationary point, we need to find the coordinates where the gradient is zero. That is where dy by dx equals zero. For example, find the stationary point of y equals x squared minus 2x plus 2. We set dy by dx equals zero and solve for x. dy by dx equals 2x minus 2. We set dy dx equals zero, so 2x minus 2 equals zero. We add 2 to both sides to get 2 equals 2x and solve for x by dividing by 2. x equals 1. We have found the x coordinate of the stationary point. To find the y coordinate, we substitute x equals 1 into the original function. We now evaluate this to get y equals 1 minus 2 plus 2 which equals 1. The stationary point has an x-coordinate of 1 and a y-coordinate of 1. Find the stationary points of y equals x cubed plus 6x squared plus 9x plus 4. We set dy dx equals 0 and solve for x. dy dx equals 3x squared plus 12x plus 9. We set dy dx equals 0. We now solve for x. This is a quadratic, so we can solve it equal to 0 by factorising. We can first divide each term by 3. We can factorise to get 0 equals x plus 1, x plus 3. This is since 1 and 3 add to make 4, and multiply to make 3. We solve this by finding the value of x that makes each bracket equal 0. We get x equals minus 1, and x equals minus 3. To find the y-coordinate when x equals minus 1, we sub it into the original function. This can be evaluated to get y equals 0. There is a stationary point at x equals minus 1, y equals 0. When x equals minus 3, we find the y-coordinate by evaluating the function when x equals minus 3. We evaluate this to get y equals 4. We have a second stationary point at x equals minus 3, y equals 4. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.